Hey there, Raven Clan and friends. This is a Dwarf Fortress tutorial series. In this tutorial, we're gonna go over drawbridges. What you see here is a nice little wooden structure that is that goes only one high. Now I'm gonna put a top on this, and we're gonna go over fortifications in another episode. But for right now, we're gonna just go over drawbridges. So first, we're gonna go into constructions. We're gonna go into bridge. And as you can see, we have another little menu that has popped up. Now, this little arrow right here in the white tells us what direction it will actually go up in. And right here, it'll go up and down. So we want this, we want this drawbridge to go up this way. So we're gonna go ahead and do, we're gonna go ahead and do this direction. Now, it can be a little confusing what direction you're going, but for the most part, you just need to look at the little cogs on the sides of it, which you can't see on this one, as it only goes up and down vertically. So, we're gonna go with this. We're gonna make it four wide. It doesn't matter how long or how wide it is. In fact, you can make it go all the way out of here and it'll still only go one, one high. So, we're gonna make it go out to here. And we're going to make it out of any type of block. It doesn't even matter. Block, log, raw stone, doesn't matter. It'll still be a very effective drawbridge that is basically indestructible. So we're going to just go ahead and make this out of finger lime wood logs because it's fun. Okay, now that it's created, now you have a drawbridge. But how do you make this work, you might be asking. Well, you go back into your construction menu, or into your structures menu, and you want to go to machines and fluids, where you're going to go to lever. Lever is how you use these mechanics in this game. And we're going to make sure that we put the lever near our hatch so that our guys can just pop out and hit the lever whenever they want. And we're going to put it on this side because it's kind of away from everything. As you can see, we need mechanisms. And how you make mechanisms, you need a mechanics workshop, which we already have some ready to be made. So we're gonna go ahead and unpause those, pump out the priority on them, and wait for those mechanisms to be made. I need stone. All right, now that we have the mechanisms, we can go into machines, put down our lever, put down which mechanism we want, and we're get, we gotta wait for our dwarves to put down the lever. Now our dwarves are very quick and they put it down very fast. So we're gonna go ahead and go into the lever task screen. As you can see, we have two options here, pull lever and link lever. We have nothing that the lever's linked to, so there's no reason to pull it, so we're gonna go ahead and link it. We're gonna link it to this drawbridge. As you can see, hovering over some stuff, it'll show you in green what you can actually link it to. In fact, you can link it to your door. We're going to go ahead and link it to this building. And we're going to wait for that. It's being done. And as you can see, it's been linked. Now you need mechanisms for that link to happen. So now we have this door linked. How do we know it's linked? Well, now we can pull the trigger the pull the lever. Pull the lever. Now it's up. As you can see, now the drawbridge is up and nothing can get through. This building is now completely safe, other than this door here. But I only have this door here for exit and entry and whatnot. And eventually we can we can hope for a legendary artifact door that can be indestructible. If you like this tutorial and you want to see more like this, do consider liking and subscribing and let me know down in the comments whether you like or dislike this tutorial. And also let me know what you want to see next. I'll see you guys at the next one.